Welcome to Polish Cooking Show number 774. I am your host, Polish McPolish Man, and here we are making compote. Now with compote, the fruit punch of the Slavic country, you need strawberries, blueberries, and peaches. So right now what we're all gonna do is just pour them right in and see that you can always have a great good time with Polish compote. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh wait, I forgot water. What am I going to do? Perfect. Now we can actually drink the liquid. Now you see here, Polish compote has great generations here. <laughs> it is buonissimo. Oh wait, I can't say that. I'm not Italian. <laughs> You see, Polish compote goes back many generations. I remember when my great-great-grandma, Grandma Borsch, she cooked this for my people in the Slavic country of Borneo. <laughs> With real compote, we need to actually sweeten it up. Unfortunately, I have no honey because good Polish men use honey. But today we have sugar, so I'm just going to put that right in and it will be voila. Oh wait, I can't say that. I'm not French. <laughs> Well, after cooking this compote for 729 hours, it's clear to see that this is a pile of crap. So instead, I will give my comrades a better beverage. Shh. Oh comrades, refreshments are here. Comrades, I hope you learned a great lesson in making compote today. Seriously, my comrades are never going to know the taste of sugary, sweet, southern iced tea. Can you open this for me once, please? Just, just please. Comrade, stand up with me. It is time to make a toast of our great land of Polska. I make a soup uh, with a spoon. Uh.